Hey guys, RC here, back with Football Manager 20. This is episode 17. I am still reeling a little bit from yesterday's red card blues. Uh, so, uh, you know, I played a few games last night after that was over, trying to get up to the next recording here for this episode. And uh, we've been sent into a little bit of a tailspin. We had a 3-3 draw. Philip Sommer with a brace, Andreas Baum with a goal, and then they got... An equalizing penalty by our friend Avegeni Petrov in the 85th minute. Mr. Consistency himself that we sold them just recently. So that came back to stab us. Then we beat Horn 5-0. Philip Sommer with a hat trick. Mick Morning with a goal. Frank Heinrich with a penalty. Vacher Innsbruck a 0-0 draw and then we lost to Team Furwine in the second round of the cup Raphael Bernhardt with our lone goal and we gave up an 89th minute winner so that uh, you know they're a good team not surprised we lost it sucks when you just get that dagger you know late in the game like that and that happens a lot then we played juniors we were heavy favorites in this we got goals from uh, Novillo and Dittmar in the first half, had a 2-0 advantage, gave up 60th, 64th, and 81st minute goals, just completely opened up the floodgates and let this one get away from us. That made me sick, and I said, screw it, I'm not recording the next episode till tomorrow, and uh, because I just don't want to play anymore, <laughs> so I took my ball and I went home. Uh, but it's tomorrow, and uh, trying to knock this out actually before I head out to work. So you know, woke up a little early, trying to get this recorded. We're playing BW Lens and Lifering today. Now the losses, we're not playing poorly. So two losses out of nine matches. We're on 15 points out of nine, so not bad. But you can see how far off the pace we are with BW Lens. No losses, only two draws. Uh, Bacher Innsbruck, even Lifering's playing very well. And you know what? I don't remember Lifering. Are they, were they in the league last year or were they relegated? No, they were in the league last year. Top half, middle table, top half, just missed relegation. All right, so, they, so they've been up for a while. I just didn't remember the name. But uh, anyway... Let's get to the match today, see if we can reverse trend. BW Lens currently in first. We are at home. We are the underdog, so we're going to go with our big away. Hopefully we can stem the bleeding. I am a little concerned. You know, I mean, we sold players. We I think we sold players we had to sell. Uh, as it is, we're still right back up to the payroll cap. So it's not like we... Not like we saved anything. I mean, you know, we <laughs> we filled holes and, and, you know, we got rid of two players and basically brought in five to replace them. So that's, I guess, that's the way to look at it. Oh, boy. Morning and summer. I think that's the right pairing. Navillo, Bernhardt. Here's the problem. Bernhardt should be playing on the left, but we are so weak in the middle now. He's our best player. And Polisteris and Whitman. Polisteris is out with an in He was injured. He came back. In the first game back, he got injured again. So, yeah, we're having some major issues. Uh, now, do I have anybody back at center back? I could bring on Villar. He would not be horrible, but I don't like his pace. Frick has the pace, but not the marking and the heading. But if I brought Frick in, if I brought Frick in there, then I can move Whitman up there. No, that's not what I want to do. It's still, I want to bring Bernard there, and then I want to bring... Whitman there but then I want Kern I think we'll pull Filer out and put Kern in on the bench how did Weigel do last year 
Seven goals in 28. He played well. Morning, three and 15 for Chester. But he's got three and eight for us. I think, yeah, I think he's just the better option up top. Boy, boy, boy. So we'll tweak this a little bit and see what happens. I am uh, I'm just a little despondent over the over the drop off in form, and then of course you know selling our best players. I mean you know there's no arguing. We sold our three best players. There's no way around that. <laughs> All right, we're actually controlling this match here in the early going. Oh, nice header down. Gets us on a quick counter. Oh, through ball. Poor angle. And they're going to steal it here. Ooh, we got lucky. I thought they were going to break on us right there with a big counter. Uh, looked like a foul. Is he getting sent off or just a yellow? Oh, it's the long walk. No hurry by the official. What's the decision? A red. Ooh, hello. All right. I'm going to keep this tactic going because we're controlling the match. So this should step it up. We're already in attacking. Uh, let's uh, demand more. All right, Gilroy. Dittmar puts it in, his second goal of the season, a header off the corner, and we're up 1-0, 33rd minute. Pretty happy with that. And we go straight to a kickoff highlight. Oh, my gosh. That's just asking for trouble. Hopefully this plays to our advantage. It does, all right. Can we do something with this? Navillo, nice step over. Takes the shot from range right at the edge of the box. That's not his strength. Not his strength. We've got some nervous guys. They're focused. Still nervous on the back line. We are, we are not holding possession. Do I, we're going to go straight to our away tactic, which pushes a little higher up. And, oh, they're sliding around. That's interesting. It's almost like they're doing that when they have the ball and when they're in defense. All right, let's pause this, see where we're at. All right, Gilroy needs to come off. Andreas Baum. We'll bring him on. I'm going to probably have to sub out one of these center backs here before too long. All right, let's do that. So we're going to drop Whitman back for Frick. And then at the defensive mid, we'll bring Kern on. Get creative. All right, the keeper got fired up by the get creative shout. Oh, man. Come on, boys. Don't let them have this. Pushed away. Bombs on it. Defense gets back quickly. A little heel kick. Heinrich. Nice ball into Baum. Into Sommer. Bernhardt chest it down. It's there. Oh, my God. He had an open net, and he missed it. He hit the upright. He had an empty netter. That's... That is just such my luck, huh? All right, some quick passing. Oh, no. And they're going to turn it on us here. Uh, he splits two defenders. Good save. Good save. All right, you know what? I am going to... 
I'm going to drop back into our big away tactic and Navilo or Clark. The assistant manager shout there. Went through the box. All right, I don't think there was a foul there. A little time wastage going on. All right, he puts it up. Nice ball to Sommer. What can he do? Oh, good ball in. Morning comes back for it. Just didn't have enough on that pass. I liked what he was trying to do, but he, he Alice to that one. <clears throat> we deserved more out of this match. That one would work. Jeez. How in the hell did that not happen for us? Did we win the match? I, I'm sitting here thinking we drew. We did win. Oh, I feel stupid. I literally thought we were in a draw. I thought we needed that goal to win. <laughs> As I said, I woke up a little early today. Oops. Well, good. We won the game. Yay. Whoopee. We still didn't play as well as we should have. Boy, that's just odd. <laughs> Your passing was a joy. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. Just complete blankage in the brain pan, man. All right. We'll be back for the next episode in just a second. Oh man, I still can't, <clears throat> still can't get over that uh, we won that match and I thought we were in a draw, but that's a good thing, at least it beats the opposite, we're thinking we were winning and we ended up drawing, you know, or something, to the, or losing to that effect. Alright, we are on the road again against Lifering, pretty heavily outdone, we're going to go with this big away tactic again. Now, we have uh, suffered uh, an injury. Dittmar has a groin strain in training. He's out for a month, so that is fabulous. Much appreciated. Let's, uh, let's take out our B team here. I think that gets us a little more manageable. All right. Just some of those extra players that we don't need right now. Well, the good news is we are pretty fully developed here. All right, so Sommer, Morning, Gilroy, Barnhart, Polisteris back from his injury. Navillo, uh, is, what's his fitness? 45 minutes of action. Um, tell you what then, I'm going to play Kern, and then we may bring him in off the bench. Uh, Whitman, Villar is going to get the start today due to the injury. Gilroy's working on match fitness. And I just noticed I'm on the other side of the screen. Um, I don't know. Let me know if it makes a big difference for you guys because the other series that I'm recording, uh, Starters Orders, this is the side I need it on for that. So I just forget. And if I move it back to the left side over there, then I'll forget to move it back here. Uh, for when I record that. So let me know if this affects you guys. If it does, I'll try to, I'll make an, I'll put a post-it note or something on my computer uh, to change the camera. Cause I forget. I just don't even, don't even look. Oh, come on boys. Ooh, the long walk. Let's get some early creativity. We're in blue. All right. That's good to recognize. Cause usually we're in red. Ethan Gilroy picks up his first yellow card of the season. Oh, a little bit of pressure. A little bit of pressure. Oh, they're pouncing on him. There it is. Morning. And he slots it home. The defensive pressure turns into a quick goal. Morning, his fifth of the season. I think he's going to be a pretty good signing this year. I think so. I like Weigel, but, you know, I think this was a step up that we needed for some more 
more goal scoring chances. Uh oh, this is a life ring set piece. I get nervous about these. Oh, pounced. Morning over the top. Breakaway. And he slots it home. He's got a first half brace in the 22nd minute. Wow, nice, nice quick counterattack there. Beautiful, beautiful. And the pressure is putting it on Lifering. All right, now they've got the counter. R, lots of space. There's the close down. A block, nice. Good morning counter again. He's into the box. Oh, and he was just an inch away from a hat trick. He is looking dangerous on the attack today, boy. Let me tell you. Let's give him some praise here in the early going. Oh, no. And he's already on a yellow. Uh, second yellow card. Distal. All right, Heinrich Kern. All right, if we go here. Good God Almighty. And then drop Whitman here and Heinrich there. Now, I could drop, I could drop Morning here. All right, we're going to make him uh, da, 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 deep lying play. Uh, we'll keep him there. All right, central defend on defend, deep lying playmaker. I think we're going to condense our lines here to where we're a little, a little more. And we're going to defend narrow. So we're going to go to the three back set here. Oh boy. A little nervous now about the second half. Can we make that stand up? Excellent efforts. Please watch your step. Ouch. Ouch. Yep. And now they're going to get all the highlights, and I'm going to be stressed out for the entire second half. Are we going to have a case of the red card blues again? I hope not. Come on. Come on. All right. Good. No. He's going to call a penalty on it. He. Oh, son of a bitch. Oh, it's saved. Yes. All right. Real quick. Tactically. All right. Heinrich. Heinrich is a right and left. Do I have... I have Blend. He has no pace whatsoever. All right. But... And he's actually a better defender with more pace. I'm going to leave him. I don't think I have a choice. Uh, Gilroy on the mid left. We can put, uh, we can move Navillo over there. No, we can put Grima over there. Let's do that. Grima's going to come in. All right, we need to uh, we need to tighten up, <laughs> tighten up. Oh my God! Well, thank God for the penalty saver. We'd be on even footing now. All right, so I don't know. Do we? We're still up high. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know whether to push that line back up. Shit. 
how do you go from looking that dumb? Oh, you know what? I know what I want to do. Yeah, we want to do a lot of time waste. Well, not not a ton, but we do want we do want to start wasting some time, like right here. You know, waste a few seconds. You know. All right, nice ball, Grima. Beats his man, and just he, you know, looks like he chipped it right to the keeper. Here you go. You know, we've gotten it down to your end. You can have it now. Let's demand some more. Oh, if we could get one here, this would be so awesome. Oh, there's a shot! Just wide. Oh, that was unlucky. Unlucky. Oh, good. Good job. By, that's, that was our striker on defense, huh? Ball up to Novillo. He cuts it inside. Does he have anybody helping him? And the answer is no. He gets a shot off. We're going to take a corner out of this. Barnhart into the box. Oh, he sent it over from the six-yard line. All right, we're going to get another corner. Come on, let's make this count, boys. That's knocked out. Abel on a counter. Oh, he's got two people inside. He had to have been offside, right? Right? Oh, good clearance. Oh, I thought they were going to call a penalty there. Um, all right, we're doing good rating-wise. I'm just looking to see if anybody needed a sub for being tired. Oh, Wagner. Oh, my God. How did it get? It got through four people. It literally got through four of our team. Oh, the Villo could not get there. All right, there's a good job. Beats his man. Boy, that was a nice first step. And, oh, who was that? Sommer. Come on, boys. Show some passion. That, Villar, was not what I was talking about. Good save by Fitzpatrick. Not the most difficult shot to defend. But still. Is he going to get sent off? What did he do? It's like he kicked the ball out of bounds. You've got to be Flipping kidding me. All right, we're going to have to pull. Uh, shit. All right, morning, you're going to go back up top because you're, because we know viewers, they like people on hat tricks to, even though our best striker would come off. All right, we're going to move him to the back and then we're going to bring blend on for him. That's two. And, and, Hollisteris. Let's bring you on for Kern. Both of our guys on yellows got sent off. Son of a bitch. All right, we're gonna go. Uh, we're gonna go. Lots of time wa wasting. Uh, more direct passing. I'm not gonna work the ball into the box. We want to basically shoot when we have the opportunity. Uh, hold shape and regroup. And let's take off tighter marking because we just we don't have the numbers now. We just need to play. Man, man. Come on, boys. Just find a way to hold on here if you can. Oh, it went over Navillo. There's a header. Oh, Morning was looking for that hat trick goal. Demand more out of them. Give me all you got, boys. 
Oh my goodness, there's a woodwork off of, for them. We got lucky. Oh my. Oh my. My heart actually jumped into my throat there just a little bit. Oh, it was a nice block. Morning. Morning. Oh, he putters out. He almost fell down. He must be exhausted. Good tackle. Thank God he didn't get sent off. All right, out to Grima. Navillo. He heads it in. It's morning. Ah! <laughs> At least we're deep in their end. Waste a little time. Waste a little time. Good job. Look at Bernhardt. He's pushing the limits. <laughs> pushing the limits. All right, Grima, get there. Thank you. All right, let's tell him to... Oh, well, I couldn't get to this shout. That was a hard-fought victory there, man. Two people down. We had a good game, but I think it would have been much easier had we had two more players. Just speculating on that. Just speculating. So we beat two top teams, right? I mean, BW Lens was top of the table. And Lifering is third in the table currently. So that's two big wins. Teams that are in front of us. We've climbed up into fourth on even footing and matches. We're one of the top three teams in goal differential, which bodes well for long-term, right? Long-term success. We're scoring a lot of goals. We don't have a huge gap. Oof. I do feel good about that, though. Let's go ahead and get through the winter break. Uh, we should, so we'll go through the transfer window, and we will be back for... Tell you what, we've already played Dornberm, right, in the season opener. Yeah, 6-1 win. Let's skip them. So we'll come back for a, a Viner Sport Club and LASK Lens. Uh, you know, middle and bottom of the table clubs, but still... Um, Dornburn's no better, and we've already played them on camera. So let's come back for the end of February, the last two matches there. Uh, we'll take a look at any transfers that we do. I might have to reevaluate the foreign players that we've brought in. If any of them are not playing enough, we may have to, we'll, you know, we may give them up and see about bringing in some other people at maybe positions that we need more because I really feel right now central mid is, is, is a place that we're lacking. So I'll give that some thought and uh, peruse the uh, scouting while we move through the window. Uh, but anyway, hopefully we can make a good run in these four games, but we'll see you guys in February. Hit that like button. I think we certainly deserve it today. Wow. So thumbs up for it if you don't mind and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you get notification on the daily updates when the videos are released. Thank you as always for watching. We will see you guys next episode. Take care. Bye.